What's up YouTube, Silver Dragons here, and in this video I'm talking about silver price going down and really what you should be considering because of it. So let's do it. Thank you so much for watching my video. I do sincerely appreciate it. If you want to learn more about investing in precious metals, or if you just want to watch awesome videos about gold and silver, make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel. Okay, so silver price is getting smashed like the Hulk is after it. <laughs> At the moment, silver is down 47 cents, which is actually kind of cool because that's the atomic number for silver. Here is a look at the three month chart for silver and you can see we are now at a three month low. And this is not really that surprising because the US dollar index is up. Now, does it always go up when silver goes down? Pretty much. Here is the same three month chart, but the blue line represents the US dollar. And you can see when silver price goes up, the US index is generally down. And when silver price goes down, the US index is generally up. Interesting. So really, you just have to ask yourself, where do you think the dollar is going? And generally speaking, that should tell you where the price of silver is going as well. In the opposite direction when we see inflation we see a drop in the buying power of the dollar one dollar in 1999 is equivalent in purchasing power to about a dollar 63 today an increase of 63 cents over 22 years the dollar had an average inflation rate of 2.25 percent per year between 1999 and today producing a cumulative price increase of 63.08 percent but here's the catch inflation is not at 2.25% anymore. Prices rise 5.4% in June over last year, largest spike since 2008 as questions mount over whether inflation will be here to stay. Inflation is in the news, it's mainstream, people are talking about it, it's going up, and it doesn't seem to be slowing down, but rather than just give you my take on it, I reached out to Robert from Gold Silver Pros to see what he had to say. Yeah, I think inflation, you know, there's been this whole thing about the keyword being uh, the Fed called inflation transitory. And then they turned around and admitted later, well, we don't think it's transitory. Then JP Morgan came out and, uh, and Demon uh, basically said uh, he doesn't think it's transitory and JP Morgan is hoarding cash. So I think the inflation genie's out of the bottle. We've had this entire year inflation's been, been up. I think it was a 2.6 and then it was a 4 point something, then an even 5 and now a 5.4 for June. So it keeps going up. It, it looks like, almost like an exponent, the beginning of an exponential curve. And uh, I think we're, that's here to stay. I think all the money that was printed last year, something like 40% of M1 all the time was printed you know, in 2020. So the money's around there sloshing around. And it, and it looks like it's finally come home to roost in the economy, in commodities and uh, in, in prices. I was curious if Robert thought this inflation would eventually blow over, maybe say in a few years, or if we're actually in a super cycle and precious metals could be going up for quite some time. So here's his take on that. 100% think we're in the super cycle for a number of reasons. Uh, super cycles is why I started Gold Silver Pros. We're in the biggest potential super cycle for precious metals I've ever seen. And I based it upon a lot of research. Contrative cycles, uh, Sir John Globe's research on the rise and fall of nation states. Essentially, we have the convergence of several short and long-term cycles occurring at once. And all of those cycles are essentially bullish for gold and silver and very bearish for the fiat system. Uh, bonds, fiat dollars, anything denominated in, in dollars is very bearish. And we're talking 250, 300 year cycles. So I do think not only are we in a bull market, we're in a massive bull market. And I think it's going to be a great wealth transfer of people who own precious metals when a lot of these other things start to collapse. Now, I thought to myself, if we're going to see precious metals going up because of inflation, should I just be stacking silver or should I possibly be stacking some gold as well? And Robert had some really interesting thoughts on that. I, I think silver will move a little bit faster. And I actually made the crazy call back in 2010 when I was writing for Seeking Alpha that silver, an ounce of silver could eventually equal an ounce of gold. That is more of like the economy blows up type of scenario in which people are screaming for silver and gold. Silver is actually becoming more rare now because it's used so much in industry. And the only place really to get it's either out of the mines or out of the landfills. So at some point, I think silver could equal gold in, in an economic Armageddon type of scenario. 
I do think the upside is higher for silver, but honestly, I, if you did a portfolio of 50, 50 silver and gold, I wouldn't blame you. I think they're both going to do well. Now I know that many of us are not hoping for an Armageddon type economic scenario. It would be extremely painful and whether one happens in my lifetime or not, I'm still going to be stacking, always preparing for the worst, but hoping for the best. So I'm buying more silver, I'm buying more gold. And if you have a truck, this is what you should be doing with it right now. Whoa, back it up, back it up. Beep, beep, beep. <laughs> That's right, back up the truck, baby. Now, I'm kind of joking. You should always buy what you can afford, never overspend on precious metals, and if you are dollar cost averaging your stack, well, then you should just buy as much as you would normally buy, but maybe buy a hair bit more. I mean, when the price goes down, everything just kind of went on sale. So definitely try and pick up some more silver, some more gold if you can. Now, I don't know if you're trying to buy eagles. Uh, you could buy the new design. You could buy the old design. If you are buying eagles, I would recommend just getting whatever's cheaper. But honestly, probably some of the other coins from around the world might have better deals on them, like the maples. These are actually the older ones. Look how milk spot that is. Maybe if you buy maples, just buy the uh, 2018s and newer because they've got less milk spots. But uh, I don't know. Generic rounds are always a good option. Usually you can look through them and find some cool different designs. Uh, so I like buying generic rounds. In fact, SD Bullion has a really good sale going on right now. And I will put a link down below in the description if you want to check them out for yourself. But they're also doing a Monster Box giveaway. So if you haven't entered the Monster Box giveaway, hey, why buy the dip when you could win the dip? <laughs> Seriously, though, you should enter that giveaway. Also, I have been showing this convocation of silver eagles here. It's the new eagle design. It's actually called a convocation, not a flock. Isn't that so weird? But I did a poll asking you all what you thought of the new design, and here are the results. 18% of you all said that you love the new Type 2 silver eagle design. That's not very surprising, less than a fifth. 23% of you all said that you hate it, and 58% said that you're not sure. So I guess a lot of people are still on the fence with this new design. Now this poll is only 20 hours old, so maybe this will change a little bit. But still, most people are on the fence. I think I probably agree with you. Now, as I wrap up the video, I want to invite you to go check out Robert from Gold Silver Pros. They put out a lot of videos on gold and silver, and they love precious metals. So definitely go check them out. And I do want to say a massive thank you so much for watching my video. And I will see you all in the next one. Silver Dragons, out.